Hey guys, what's up? Tobaloco here again with another FIFA World Cup video suggested by the follower on screen right now. Thank you for this idea. It's a great idea. So basically what he suggested to me was after my last video, which did quite pretty reasonable, he said, why not do one with the teams that just missed out on the World Cup? So and these are the best teams that have missed out on the World Cup as well, according to the group stages and everything else. Now, please bear in mind that what you see here is what the game wants the groups to be. I'm not going to edit them because, to be fair, they look pretty okay from what I'm looking at. They look balanced. They look okay. And some of these teams... So say like, for instance, the Netherlands and Italy, they generally missed out on the playoffs. But Montenegro and Ireland, they came third in their group. So did Scotland, so did the Czech Republic, so did Ukraine. Northern Ireland came second, I believe. Well, um, uh, yeah, second, but they got knocked out, I think. And Bosnia came third as well. So And Hungary as well. So I basically, with Europe, I put three... Um, the third place teams in the, the thing. And then uh, for United States, it was really difficult because obviously United States qualified, but then you've got like nations like Trinidad who should have probably qualified, but they didn't. Um, I just noticed that I accidentally left Costa Rica in there. Shit. Zambia will be a decent, a decent shout. They're pretty good. Plus, they have won the Africa Cup of Nations before. Um, I think. Yeah. Um, might have to check that one. But anyway, let's just do this. I'm playing as New, Ze New Zealand, but obviously I'm simulating. Um, so now instead of Costa Rica, you've got Zambia. Okay, right. It's, it's done. We kept Russia in there because they're the hosts, obviously. Um, so yeah, we get to see how this plays out. Okay, let's uh, start this okay so new zealand's uh wait is almost over obviously i kicked out all the teams that qualified and uh, replaced them with the ones that didn't um so in no england no france no germany there's italy there's holland so i you would think that holland and italy would be the favorites without a doubt or chile Chile could be a favourite. I had to kick out Brazil and Argentina. It was so hard to find South American teams that, you know, didn't qualify really. Like, it was so annoying. I had to put like Venezuela and Ecuador in there. That was the only ones like uh, that were like, half decent. But anyway, let's simulate up to the first game and uh, see what we got. All right. So we'll check the first results after the first game. Let's just... Uh, Okay, hang on. Okay, so New Zealand actually beat Greece 2-1. That's uh, pretty big, pretty big, I'm not going to lie, you know, Greece. They are strugglers though, they are big strugglers in the World Cup. Okay, so basically, um, the top groups have already played, well, Group A has already played two games, and so has Group B. Okay, so you've got Venezuela and Cameroon. Looking like they're going through. Ireland struggling in a group with Trinidad, Tobago and Cameroon. You'd think Ireland would come out of that one, but maybe not. Um, Chile, obviously, are like, bossing that group. Albania, doing well. They've got three points. The Netherlands, struggling in that group. I mean, they've only... Well, by the looks of it, they've only played one game. So, yeah. Um, Ivory Coast beating China. Obviously, New Zealand beat Greece. Italy beating the Czech Republic. I... Can't argue with that. Iraq and Zambia drawing? Yeah, I mean, whatever. Um, Group E with Scotland and Wales in it. They both beat their respective opponents. Uh, Ecuador and Honduras. Uh, Honduras narrowly missing out on this year's World Cup. Um, okay, so then we've got Group F, which is Bosnia and Herzegovina. 3-0 um, against Paraguay. Yeah, why not? Syria, obviously. I really wanted them to qualify, but... They didn't in real life, so here they are. They drew against Hungary. That's really good. Uh, Slovakia beating Northern Ireland. Ghana drawing against United States. How many times has that matchup happened in the World Cup? Ghana and United States. Oh, my God. I remember when Ghana beat United States. Actually, that was a good day. Ukraine and Russia in the same group. Bit dangerous there. Bit dangerous, but they both beat their respective opponents. 
and pick up the three points. Okay. So on to the next game, which is China versus New Zealand. Do you ever think China... Um, no, wait, what the fuck? No, it's not. What am I talking about? It's Ivory Coast and New Zealand and then China afterwards. Okay, right, so we'll simulate that. Just have a look. Okay, so did we beat them? Oh, it was actually a nil-nil draw between New Zealand and Ivory Coast. Um, so yeah, pretty decent. I think New Zealand could go through. Let's just have a look at the tables. Okay, so what we've got here is um, Venezuela and Cameroon going through. Ireland getting knocked out. That's quite um, a surprise. Chile and the Netherlands look like they're going through. I think they've still got one more game to play. By the looks of that group, I'll double check. Um, Ivory Coast and New Zealand through. Italy are through. Easy. So are Wales. Scotland and Ecuador still battling out. So are Honduras. Iraq, Czech Republic, Zambia are still in it. Uh, Bosnia, Herzegovina, the surprise of the World Cup will be Syria. They obviously um, beat the last opponents, which probably was Paraguay by the looks of things. Um, yeah, so Slovakia and the United States look like they're going through, but Ghana could uh, have a say in that. Ukraine and Russia and Qatar look like they're going through, but Algeria, they need obviously goals. They need goals to go through. Right, let's uh, see. Let's see if the New Zealanders can actually uh, go through. Okay. So China beat New Zealand 2-0, but it doesn't matter because um, Italy and New Zealand are in the round of 16. Um, so here we go. Here's the round of 16. This is what it looks like. I'll just go back to the groups. Let's see how it finished off. Right, so obviously... Ivory Coast and New Zealand qualified. China didn't, that's fine. Um, yeah, Netherlands qualified only just, might I say only just. Italy and Zambia qualifying. That's quite a surprise considering the Czech Republic are in that group. Iraq getting knocked out. Um, Wales and Ecuador going through. Scotland missing out. or oh, uh, heartache for them. Uh, Bosnia and Syria go through. United States and Slovakia. Ghana and Northern Ireland knocked out. And the host Russia knocked out by Ukraine and Qatar. Oh my god. they That would be uproar if Ukraine finishes above Russia. They would hate that so much. But in the round of 16, you've got Venezuela versus Netherlands. You've got Ivory Coast versus Zambia. Oh, what a match that would be. Like a rematch of the... Was it the 2012? I, I can't remember. It was one of the um, African Cup finals where Zambia took it home. Uh, Chile versus Cameroon. Uh, Italy versus uh, New Zealand. You've got Wales versus Syria. You've got USA versus Qatar. You've got Bosnia versus Ecuador. And Ukraine versus Sl Slovakia. Right, let's see how this goes. I'm fully expecting Italy to win this game. But you know what this game is like. All right. Okay, right, I got knocked out, obviously. Sim simulate the rest of the tournament. And Italy, of course, have won the World Cup. But look who came second. It's the Ivory Coast. Ivory Coast getting to their first final, the African final, um, well, African finalist. Is, that's incredible. That's incredible. But they were the strongest team there. I mean, you can, send, you can put what you feel in the comments or whatever, but... They were quite a strong team, so we're going to see how this played out. So obviously Italy won. Um, yeah, Italy won. Um, the round uh, of 16, not the round of 16, uh, what am I talking about? Uh, the third place playoff. USA and Bosnia, 2-2. It won't tell me yet. And I don't want to press A because it advanced the awards, but I'll have a look in a minute. All right, so we'll keep that one under wraps. Um, what about the quarterfinals? How did that go? Um, no, semi-finals even, what we're talking about. Uh, yeah, so Italy beat Bosnia 2-1. Very close for Bosnia there, very close. Um, and then obviously uh, Ivory Coast beat USA 1-0. That's okay, yeah, yeah, I can live with that. Um, okay, so then we got Bosnia beating Ukraine 2-0. Italy beat Chile 1-0 in the quarterfinals. You've also got another quarterfinal matchup. 
Wales narrowly losing to the USA and Ivory Coast beating Venezuela. It's a pretty easy game for Ivory Coast, I've got to say. But Wales and USA, what a thriller that would have been. And then you've also got these ones here, Bosnia and Ecuador, um, round of 16, 3-1. Uh, um, Ukraine beat Slovakia 2-1, pretty standard to be fair. I mean, no shockers here. And then you've got this one. Italy beat us 5-0. And um, then in the other matchup, you've got um, Chile beat Cameroon 2-0. And then Wales beat Syria 3-0. And USA beat Qatar 3-0. Let's advance to the awards and see who got what. Giuseppe Rossi. Now, he got eight goals. Please take bear in mind that these squads are four years out of date, okay? So it's just a bit of fun. Uh, best player, Giuseppe Rossi. Best goalkeeper, Buffon. I have hands down no debate about that. He is a good goalkeeper. But anyway, we'll, um, we'll have a look. Okay, so basically, um, United States actually won the third place playoff. This is how it looks like. Um, yeah, I mean... You can't really argue that. Ivory Coast thrashing Zambia there. Um, Venezuela actually beat the Netherlands. Can you actually believe that? That's crazy. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. Underachieving much. But yeah, there you go. That's your video. Whoever whoever the person who's, who asked it. I can't remember your name. I'm so sorry. But yeah, there's your video. There's your underachievers and... Um, you know, the people who didn't make the World Cup. And as always, thank you for watching. If you do like what I'm doing right now, then please like, please subscribe, please comment and give me your opinions. It's really good to see in the last video that um, you gave your opinions and stuff. It's awesome. I can't I can't believe the support of gangs I'm getting recently from this. So it's really fun. So yeah, thanks again. It's been Toby Loco.